1967's Son of Godzilla is one of my favorite Godzilla films to date. Its relative innocence and island adventure fun makes it an appealing installment in the film franchise, one that is often centered on industrial areas and destruction-heavy footage. However, it is this movie's emphasis on fatherhood and family that makes it the gem that it is, and for some children like myself, this positive depiction of father-child relationships was an example lacking in their homes. Fortunately, Son of Godzilla displays the joys and frustrations of being a parent rather well, especially for a kaiju film. In this video, we are going to dive into Godzilla as a father and his reflection on the value of our male parents, including the value of masculinity. For people like myself, Godzilla was one of the few models of fatherhood available to us, and his growing love for young Minya, as shown in the movie, reveals how a true father, and a good man, should behave. Without further ado, here are five ways Godzilla exposes the importance of fathers in Son of Godzilla. Number 1. Godzilla Exercises Discipline Throughout Son of Godzilla, we see Godzilla's son Minya receive his fair share of punishment for ill behavior, and then some. While Godzilla's harsher moments with Minya are sometimes exaggerated and uncalled for, it is apparent the Kaiju King understands the value of discouraging negative behavior from his child and wants Minya to better himself. When the little monster throws a tantrum, Godzilla doesn't indulge him and reinforces wrongdoing, but rather takes hold of his son's tail and drags him away, which is similar to how some parents must handle misbehaving children in public. If a child will not obey their parent, the parent must take the matter into their own hands, often literally, to assume control over the situation and ensure their child understands that the parent means what they say. Godzilla does this very thing in Son of Godzilla. He knows what's best for Minya and is Minya's caregiver. In return, Godzilla expects a degree of respect since he is the one managing Minya's well-being and safety. When this respect is not shown, discipline, the ultimate tool in shaping an unruly character into a refined one, is exercised. Godzilla doesn't discipline his son out of hatred, quite the opposite. In order to exemplify a quality father, Godzilla lays down the law. Whether Minya chooses to obey it or not is his decision, but every decision has its consequences. Number 2. Godzilla Shows His Love Not all of parenting requires discipline and disapproval and spankings. In most cases, parents are eager to share their love and affection with their offspring, and Godzilla is no different. From giving Minya a tailback ride when the little hatchling struggles to keep pace, to the heart-stirring scene that closes out the movie in Son of Godzilla, the King of the Monsters knows how to demonstrate his love. And affectionate expressions of love are only one aspect of that deep commitment. Godzilla defends his son from harm multiple times. He protects Minya from the Kamakuras and Kumanga, endangering his own life for the sake of his sons, and in doing so portrays the sacrificial and steadfast nature of fathers and men through these actions. In society, men have often been viewed as the physical protectors and the ones expected to lay down their lives for their loved ones. Godzilla is a wonderful example of the classic good man who would do anything for his family. By placing himself in harm's way, Godzilla embodies positive masculinity and the intrinsic desire in all men to provide and protect. For the love of his son, Godzilla is fearless. He is selfless, bold, and dedicated, never letting even a terribly wicked, silk-vomiting spider deter him from the right path. Number 3. Godzilla Educates His Son how many times have your parents given you a life lesson, or at least taught you something to help you function as a human being? Most people can agree that their parents, especially their fathers, were crucial figures in their educational upbringing. Traditionally, it is the father's role to connect with his children as a strong and capable provider, though this is not always the case. When it comes to boys, fathers play a vital role in shaping their sons into intelligent and responsible men. Men who come to embody the same courage, selflessness, and ambition necessary for a healthy and thriving world. Of course, women can receive the same lessons from their fathers, but a young man who has no knowledge of how he should be can be a dangerous one, and it is a father's duty to pass along to his son all that he knows about being a quality man. In Son of Godzilla, Minya is required to know at least the basics of physical combat, because as a monster, fighting and being able to preserve oneself are critical. If Minya wants to become the king of the monsters one day himself, he must learn from the master, Godzilla. Godzilla makes attempts at teaching Minya to be courageous and wield his atomic breath. 
And while the lessons are a bit bungled at times, Minya does learn how to apply himself and his greatest weapon in battle. He becomes confident enough in himself that he ends up joining his father in the fight against Kumanga, and this likely never would have occurred had Godzilla not educated Minya in the ways of monsters. Is combat Minya's natural strong suit? Clearly not. This is why Godzilla taught him what he could about battle, to prepare his son for the trials he would later face in life, for his own good and for the good of the planet. That leads us to our next point. Number 4. Godzilla Encourages Growth Like any good father, Godzilla wants his child to strive for more and greater, growing in character and strength with each passing day. As a father, it is Godzilla's unique opportunity to encourage Minya to pursue being bold, assertive, and confident around enemy monsters, as well as teach Minya to fight, as highlighted in the previous point. This is showcased well in Godzilla's successful teaching moments with his son, but also in his frustration. When Minya disappoints his father, Godzilla lets it be known, but he doesn't ever give up on Minya. Rather than coddle his son and endanger his life by allowing him to remain passive and wholly protected, Godzilla sets expectations for Minya and always nudges him out of his comfort zone. If one thinks of their mother as their safe parent, being the more naturally nurturing parental figure, then one can probably say, in many cases, that it was their father who encouraged the more brazen behavior. Fathers can certainly be nurturing too. Look at Godzilla. But it is common for them to promote more adventurous behavior and advocate for the breaking of boundaries for the sake of experience and self-growth. When Godzilla refuses to let his son sit back during tense moments, he is literally saving his life. In this universe, it's a monster-eat-monster -monster world, and Minya will not survive if he fails to grow as a physical combatant. Sometimes in life, we need someone to encourage us out of our comfortable position so we can experience character development. Fathers, Godzilla chief among them, are the perfect role models for helping us grow as humans, and kaiju. Number 5 Godzilla puts forth the effort. In a world of instant gratification and endless busyness and schedules, it has become more difficult in some ways to spend quality time with family. Parents are rushing about tending to their jobs and appointments, while the children can sometimes be left behind with nothing more than their phones to amuse them and educate them about the world. In our modern age, it has become more important now than ever to invest special effort in connecting with family and raising the little ones right. Godzilla, however, was never too bothered by his lifestyle as the King of the Monsters to set aside some time for raising his son. Minya receives discipline, affection, education, and encouragement of the growth of his character throughout Son of Godzilla, and you best believe he's a better monster for it when all is said and done. Godzilla doesn't consider his child an afterthought, and Minya isn't even Godzilla's actual son. This shows how much Godzilla wants to be involved in Minya's life and upbringing. He goes out of his way to teach Minya and nurture his existence. If that's not what a good father and a good man would do, I don't know what else could embody such goodness. Well, there you have it, Goji Geeks. Five ways Godzilla reveals the importance of fathers, as depicted in Son of Godzilla. For a monster movie, Son of Godzilla really is a unique specimen. It highlights the humanity in Godzilla's character, and even sets an example of how we humans should be sometimes. Imagine learning about the value of fathers as a child from a giant rubber radioactive lizard. Life works in mysterious ways.